Hey everyone, today in this video we are going to be solving this problem from J Advanced 2023 paper 1. So this was a match the following type question. So in this problem basically we have a conducting rod which has a resistance of 10 ohm and it's in a vertical plane so basically the force uh, there is a force of gravity acting on this. So when we uh, when when this rod is released it's going to fall downwards because the force of gravity is acting on it. And as a process of that, the flux through this surface, this rectangular surface will increase. And because of that, there would be an induced EMF. As a result um, of the increasing flux, which would try to oppose the cause for increase in flux. And as a result of that, we will have uh, a magnetic force of ILB acting on this opposite to the direction of mg and after a while this ILB increases to the point which would make it equal to mg and the rod would attain terminal velocity and they have asked about that in the fourth option and we also have to find the induced EMF magnetic force and the power dissipated as heat at time t equals 0.2 seconds. Okay, so beginning with the solution. Um, so if we, let's say after a time t, uh, the rod has fallen by a distance now, let's say it achieves a velocity of v after a while. So as we know, uh, a rod, as it falls down, because of the change in flux, there is an induced EMF, um, induced EMF and the magnitude for that induced EMF is simply BVL, right? So, and the B value of B is four and the value of L is one by four. If you substitute, the magnitude of induced EMF would numerically be equal to the velocity of the rod. Now, if you wanna find the direction of this battery or the polarity of the battery, I should say, you just have to do you just have to find the direction of V cross V. Now this formula is for a charge, it's the base, basically the force acting on a charged particle that is kept in a magnetic field, which is moving with a velocity V. So <clears throat> if, you've, if you calculate the direction of V cross B in this case, you'll get the direction as towards the right. So which means the positive polarity of the battery would be towards the right and the negative would be towards the left. So the battery would be of this sorts. So which means the current I would be flowing in the direction and the current would be flowing because we have a resistance here. So by Ohm's law, we can find the magnitude of the current I as E by R. Okay, so and that would numerically be equal to V by 10. Now, the magnetic force acting on a current carrying conductor or rod in this case, uh, which is kept in a magnetic field is simply ILB, provided the current I is perpendicular to the magnetic field B, right? And the direction of the force could be calculated by computing DL cross B, DL vector cross B. This would be the direction of the magnetic force. So, and DL vector is along the direction of current, by the way. <clears throat> so if you calculate DL cross B, you'll get it as upwards. So if we have to draw the FBD of rod MN, it would be of this sorts. The, the weight of gravity will act towards the downward direction and the magnetic force ILB would be acting on the upward direction. Okay, and let's say at any general time T, the, ax, the rod moves with an acceleration A downwards. So now we could just write Newton's second law equation uh, for the rod MN and we'll get this, right? Mg minus ILB equals MA. Substituting all the values, we'll get a simple relation for the acceleration and velocity as A equals 10 minus 5V. Now, when we mean terminal velocity, uh, it means the acceleration of the rod would become zero, right? So if we set the acceleration as zero, we'll get the terminal velocity as two meter per second. And that was what was asked in the third, fourth part. Okay. Now, uh, now we would, in order to find the induced EMF and the force, we would require velocity as a function of time. 
So for that, I'm going to write the acceleration as dv by dt. And after taking this to the other side, we can compute this integral and finally get this relation as velocity as a function of time. Now, if you plot the graph, it would be of this sort. Okay, so now um, we had to calculate the induced AMF when time t was 0.2 seconds. So we earlier calculated the induced AMF to be numerically equal to the velocity of the rod. So just substitute, so we just have to substitute the value of time in this and we'll get the value of induced EMF as 1.2 volt. Now the magnetic force we later earlier computed to be V by 10 numerically. So which would technically just be one tenth of this. So it will be 0 0.12 Newton. And the power dissipated as heat through the resistor we all know would be I squared R. And I also we, we earlier just computed to be E by R or V by 10. So it'll be 1.2 by 10 squared times 10 and it'll come out to be 0.144. So that was this problem. Thanks for watching guys.